come here because uh, Ridley was telling me for a long time that you have to do a presentation on Founded Plane and Ink. What is that? Most of us students don't know. Probably you have never seen a Founded Plane. Have you seen a Founded Plane in your life? Yes, yes sir. sir. How many of you? Oh, that's great. I have never seen so many hands going on. <laughs> we have come here to tell you about a story, a journey that began almost 80 years, 88 years back. So I have with me a friend, philosopher and guide, Mr. Shuvapurudha Gangul. Shuvapurudha uh, Gangul was a person who convinced me during the COVID times that it's important to bring back mountain pain again. We were not into ink manufacturing at that time. He convinced me during the COVID time that people need to come out with uh, certain ideas and things which can be best done by mountain pain. And then slowly he introduced me to some other people. He took me to his home. What I saw, can you guess how many mountain pens? Just guess. 50. 50, okay. Near, near. Anyone else? 500. Coming closer. 1,000. That's more than 10,000. Oh my God. <laughs> and some of which are more than 100 years old. There I came to know that for the first time that the fountain pen was developed in India before 1900 AD and was patented. There are 14 patents of the fountain pen. They were by a person in, from Calcutta who then went to Southern his factory at Canada's and it was patented in four countries. And there were so many people using fountain pens, so many people wanted to use fountain pens and then we started got, getting figures from Bangladesh, figures from uh, the rest of the country. We initially started with a small pack which went on to become a very popular pack and then we realized that okay there is a market and the market is growing people want to come back to fountain pen again so what is the story why people are coming back to fountain pen i will hand it over to mr kamal to take you to the rest of the case thanks guys i uh, collect fountain pens as he was telling you i've been collecting fountain pens for the last 30 years I have, uh, like he rightly said, more than 10,000 pens. I have some very rare pens. I've been using fountain pens all my life. And uh, what I'm doing now, and Sulekha is part of this story, is uh, I'm trying to rebrand Indian fountain pens and inks and trying to take Indian pens to the world so that they can have their rightful place in the global sun. We have a very simple single one point agenda to build Germany se achcha, China se sasta, dil se made in India. Okay. And we are doing it, we are doing it and we are winning. We are winning. I'll, I'll tell you about these brands. But let me concentrate on the Suleka story today because this is a fascinating story and uh, it's also fascinating because there are so many lessons to be learned. You know, you guys are in uh, sustainability, eco-friendliness, in nature clubs and stuff like that. So we have lessons for you. We have lessons in branding because this is a turnaround story. This is the story of a company and we'll be talking about it. And there are other lessons also. As I go about, I will uh, tell you these stories progressively. And once we are through, uh, we'll be open for questions, right? So we are talking about uh, Suleka, right? Uh, Eta, this one. Okay. So. We know what are a comp what complementary products are, right? Car and petrol, pen and ink, stuff like that. Anyway, so Suleka was, uh, before going into Suleka, let us talk about a complementary product, which was once an essential, because if you go back in time, you will see that uh, with your parents at least, 
the only writing instrument was a fountain pen this was a time when dot pens were not there the digital overwhelm had not taken place so you had only fountain pens so everybody was using a fountain pen and so you were essentially selling a product which was complementary and which was the thing to go everybody had to buy a pen right so but we are also talking about a product that had gone with the wind half a century back ponchas bochor age ute gechi pen bole kichu nei none of you normally normal people don't use fountain pens normal people don't use inks most of the kids that we meet they don't even know what a fountain pen is most of them i'm talking i'm not talking about the bright ones the smart ones like you guys but most people don't know what fountain pens are so uh, we are talking about a product that had gone with the wind the usp of this was the products association with the freedom struggle as the lady who was uh, introducing us told you with self reliance with swadeshi and with the father of the nation now we will quickly go through because yes you guessed it right we are talking about sulekha right see sulekha like uh, we were telling you was established in 1934 in a place called rajshahi which is now in bangladesh it was established by two freedom fighter brothers who were uh, who made these inks for the mahatma why the mahatma there were so many other guys so the point is gandhi ji was writing against the britishers ha huh? itna likh raha tha but he was using unhi log ka inks to write against them <laughs> and he hated it he hated it you know believe me he hated it i mean not that i was there humko kaan mein nahi bataya tha but he hated it and it's there it's there in his writings he said that itna bada desh hai itna aadmi log hai itna hum log ka wo hai itna 5000 saal purana civilization we can't even make our own inks to bahut jan ka bhitar mein his grandfathers there were two brothers they just come out of jail and one of them was a brilliant guy who was doing his msc in calcutta university at that point in time now incidentally this guy had stood second in msc even though he got the highest number in calcutta university do you know why sabse jyada number pa ke bhi second hua tha kyun because angrez ka kali se nahi likhenge isliye pencil se likha tha इसीलिए उनको डिस्पाइट ही गॉड गेटिंग द मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ नंबर्स ही वाज गिवन द सेकंड प्लेस सो ये बोला कि चलो सब कुछ छोड़ के काली बनाते हैं सो ही मेड द इंक एक्चुअली द इंक द फॉर्मुलेशन इनका पहले कोई बनाया था देर वाज अ जेंटलमैन कॉल्ड सतीश चंद्र दासगुप्त हु वाज अ केमिस्ट विद द बेंगाल केमिकल हियर इट ऑल इट ऑलवेज हैज टू स्टार्ट इन बेंगाल आई डोंट नो वाई anyway to to this guy he had made an ink called krishna dhara he gave them the formulation and this guy perfected it and he made the sulekha inks rajshahi bol ke ek jagah tha i mean it's still there it's now in bangladesh to so these two brothers they started making the inks their parents the father had just retired unka pura zindagi ka sara wo instead of putting it in a म्यूचुअल फंड ही गेव इट टू द सन जो बोला जा बेटा जाके अपना जिंदगी बना बोलता है जैसे पिक्चर में वैसा बोला जा बेटा गांधी जी के लिए काली बना एनी वे तो तो दिस गाइज द मेड इंग्स फॉर द नेशन एंड काली बनाता था द लेडीज ऑफ द हाउस घर में दे यूज टू मेक इट इन द आफ्टरनून एंड वी हैव अ स्टोरी हियर ऑल्सो देर वॉज अ फॉरनर अ लेडी अ ब्रिटिशर हु यूज टू कम दैट्स अ डिफरेंट स्टोरी वू वोट गेट इन टू इट but sometimes if you permit me i'll come and tell you that story because that's also a very exciting story it's a side story but um, that's another line of inks that we have produced so these guys they started making inks for the mahatma mahatma used to write with them and 
they after India got uh, her freedom, they became the largest ink makers not only in India but uh, in Asia. And definitely that time China wasn't there. I mean, नहीं घुस के आता था ऐसा हम लोग I mean तो I I mean so that time uh, they were the largest in Asia and they were also among the biggest in the world. So biggest in the world in the sense that uh, they used to fight with the best ink making companies in the world and most of the time Sulekha was winning and I'll tell you a story there was in 1985 as close as 1985 there was a global tender floated by the United Nations which wanted a company to go and set Africa's first stink factories. And Sulekha incidentally was the first Indian company to set up two ink plants in Africa, run them and come back. Nobody knows. But <laughs> so you know you had exports to Europe, America, Australia and the Far East set up Africa's first ink plants by invitation from the UN. And then like everything else all good things come to an end. Sulekha went into a lockdown. Factory Jaladia Yape, we had militant trade unionism. How many of you have heard this term? Cholchena, Cholbena, Bhenge Dao, Gudiya Dao, to Sulekha Puriya Dao. To Puriya Di Chilo, Sulekha Bondo Hege Chilo. Tiris Bochor Sulekha was closed. Closed. Now, what we are doing, 2020, mad people like us, we are reviving the brand. And uh, we are to a very great extent successful also and we hope that with you, through you guys, we will move ahead and uh, we will again make Sulekha number one. How many of you believe that, you know, that's possible? That it's possible, one, two, three, four, oh. Huh? So all of you guys believe, right? So I'm 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 not fighting. Uh, no, okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I mean, if you feel like no, it's not possible. It's not a dream that should be this thing. I mean, it's very boring. <laughs> so, sir, as you said, 1985, they went in Africa. But you know, slightly it is written. So Lekha was locked on in 1980. Oh, 80s. 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 That's Ah, uh, no, no, 80s, 80s, 80s. Anyway, so the, the thing is, so this is the story of the revival of the ink maker of the nation. Because at one point of time, Suleka was known as the ink makers of the nation. We were the largest ink makers. please. You know, this is also a spin doctor's dream. It's a social media case study. It's a turnaround testament. Why am I saying this? Because if you guys get into communication and ma'am is here because you know this is primarily a story which can be won or lost as all battles today are fought in the social media. So you know you have to control that social media space in order to get into that uh, mind frame to Control your mind, your get your eyeballs and then turn it into, uh, you know, a footfall or a kind of a purchase or whatever. But for that, you have to have, uh, you have to have a very compelling presence in the social media. That is why it is a spin doctor's dream. A spin doctor is primarily someone who spins these public relations stories. So uh, this is uh, communication as ma'am will tell you. This is also a turnaround testament because you know, here was a company which had gone to the top, then it fell to the bottom. And again, it is trying to make a comeback. So that's why it's a turnaround testament. See, what we first did, you know, around uh, three years or four years back was to connect to the fountain pen community. There's a very thriving fountain pen community out there in the web, people who use fountain pens. You know, I was so surprised when I came here, I saw two of your very senior teachers who are fountain pen addicts. 
there are so many of you who you know raised your hands when you were asked whether you use fountain pens or not so there there is a very thriving fountain pen community what we did was we <coughs> recreated the sulekhaings repackaged them and went to the community because these guys there was a demand there it was a latent demand most of these guys were importing their inks so instead of getting giving them imported inks we provided them with inks that were made in india and we told them ki dekho baba sulekha chilo aage why don't you start using them so reluctantly at first then slowly slowly they got converted but you know when the oceans were churned by the freedom struggle the nectar of swadeshi was a sulekha so we kept telling them see look this is a swadeshi product this is a swadeshi product this was made for gandhi ji this is like your khadi this is like your gandhi topi see this is a swadeshi product so you know you should use it and people took to it people believed it because at the end of the day see we are a very proud people so it feels good that this is something that's made in india you know it's something that has a history it's something that relates back to the freedom struggle it's something to which our forefathers or it's something for which our forefathers had given so much their life their times their wealth their energy so we wanted to connect and people really connected when we started talking about a swadeshi product and they started taking it so be, because it was something that's beyond slogans you know we were made in india before make in india as a slogan was even conceived of it was long back see this ad is 19 from night hey, babu theek se dekho tum kaun sal ka hai ha <laughs> de- dekh le theek hai to 69 <laughs> so 1969 ka hai so the thing is uh, we've been there from a long time and uh, that's it i mean it's it's not about a, a mouthful it's not about a slogan it's not about telling you acche din aayega it's about actually going out and telling you yes acche din tha aur fir se laya lo you know it's something concrete that you can feel you get my point go to uh, because acha now we will get into sustainability we'll get into talk about equal opportunity we'll talk about ethicality hoga ethically likha hua hai my my that's my bad we'll talk about carbon footprint we'll talk about plastic pollution we'll talk about digital detoxification why a fountain pen why because when you use a fountain pen as opposed to to a uh, use and throw dot pen ma'am can i uh, take your please, pen for us see this <laughs> is something that all of you use most of the time most of the time right how much does it weigh 10 grams how many of these pens do you use in a week at least one at least one so you are using 4 to 5 of these pens in a month so that's 50 grams that's 50 grams koto bochor porbe ekhane to get this degree du bochor du bochore koto thale kota pen holo if a week takes so one pen 104 104 into 10 grams kitna hua kg कितना जन है क्लास में अराउंड फिफ्टी से मल्टीप्लाई करो कितना होता है हु गुड इन मैथ्स आई एम नॉट हा फिफ्टी वन के जीज ये फिफ्टी वन के जीज कहा जाते हैं लिख के तो फेंक देते हो ना कहा जाते दहेज में कोई नहीं लेता है फेंक देता है हा तो क्या होगा ये फिफ्टी के जीज का क्या होता है वेट डज इट गो इट गोज टू चोक योर drainage systems your riverine systems ultimately ending up in the ocean floor usme se kya hota hai global warming hota hai na acha now ek baat batao ye kis se bana hua hai plastic se bana hai ha ye plastic kaise karke banta hai 
बिजली लगता है ना बिजली लगता है बिजली किससे बनता है बाय बर्निंग फॉसिल फ्यूल्स फॉसिल फ्यूल बनाने से क्या होता है जलाने से जलाने से क्या होता है पोल्यूशन होता है और क्या होता ऊपर में छेद हो जाता ना कहा एक तो ओजोन लेयर में डिप्लीशन होता है छेद होता है छेद होने से क्या होता सनस्क्रीन लगाने पड़ता क्यों <laughs> क्योंकि ऑल दिस हा तो उसमें क्या हो रहा व्हाट व्हाट डज इट मीन इट मीन्स योर कार्बन फुटप्रिंट इज ग्रोइंग अप I'll I'll come to that. I'll I'll come to that. I'll come to that. So this is something that is adding to your pollution, to your carbon footprint, to your global warming. Now he has a very interesting question. What is your good name, sir? Soumalo Kumar. Soumalo. Soumalo has a very good question. He is saying fountain pen bodies are also made of plastic, right? A. This is ebonite. this is not plastic this is plastic b ebonite incidentally is hard rubber jo mrf tire hota hai wohi tire ko jala ke vulcanize karke ebonite banta hai this is my grandfather's pen this is the third generation in our family hopefully my son will make it the fourth generation this is a third generation pen have i thrown it away ha huh? will i save this for my grandson no so does it answer your question ha huh? is not convinced i'll i'll tell you more see what happens nahi bolna yaar seedha seedhi bolo i am not convinced see because the point kya ho jata hai you refill the ink you know it can and, and these are legacies ma'am was talking about her grandfather's uh, ink pots we were just talking you know it's something these are heirlooms this you keep so that's number 1 number 2 is you know iska jo life cycle assessment if you do anything ka that is why steel is such a uh, you know a desirable uh, metal because if you look at the life cycle of any product you will see that it lasts for a long time which brings down all these things happy acha so we are talking about a fountain pen which is sustainable sulekha is an equal opportunity company equal opportunity q Now Sulekha generates its own electricity through solar energy. Pura they have a zero electricity bill. Second thing, equal opportunity. You know what it means. I won't get into it. And because it's an ethical company, it still believes in all those things that Gandhi ji had taught many years back to his grandfathers, and they are still following on the same footsteps. We don't use plastic bottles. we can bring down the cost of any pen or any bottle of ink by just switching to plastic which we don't which we don't because of our ethicality because we don't want to uh, incidentally if any one of you if any one of you is interested you can read what we have written here why these inks are in four colors so we've talked about uh, the carbon footprint you've talked about the plastic pollution you have talked about digital de detoxification what does it mean you know last 2 years were terrible for all of us 2 3 years can you na we were uh, locked in rooms like this with nowhere to go away from our friends away from schools colleges everywhere we were in a huge amount of stress what happened was we were sucked into a digital black hole we were sucked into a digital black hole and this is what we are calling digital detoxification kya hua hai think about it consciously amra kintu likhte bhule gechi most of us amra likhte bhule gechi because of that 
we are having that when you are writing with a fountain pen you are actually your mind body coordination improves when we were in school we were told baba likhe likhe por baba likhe likhe por why because when you write and when you read you tend to remember things better right it's it's a different thing i won't get into it but i think you will relate it's different when somebody writes you a love note with a pen <laughs> right ha bolchilo shurute khub excited hoy bollo tar pore chup hoye gelo anyway so the thing is uh, you know so we have to digitally detoxify ourselves and how do you do it one of and this is something that that is proven psychologically around the world and people are using it around uh, especially in europe they are bringing the pen back into schools and colleges so and they are using the fountain pen to digitally detoxify young minds kano na because ekta eto pressure er moddhe eshe geche that people want to come out so the fountain pen offers you a way out of this ektu pore ta dekho you know depressing the digitally damned in their domain pen and ink in hand that is what we are doing because this is your domain most of you are digitally depressed and here i am like lord krishna instead of a basuri with a pen <laughs> okay nobody believes that go to the next one <laughs> you know uh, we uh, when we started about 2 2 and 1/2 years back we we had a lot of most most people did not uh, believe us but we now have a very thriving markets in bangladesh in nepal and in the usa where we have started selling sulekha products and people are taking to it with a lot of interest i'll i'll tell you a story incidentally a very interesting story how many of you are bengalis here acha one ke ache so how many of you know of a date called the 21st of february 21 february bhasha divas bhasha divas keno hoy chilo jano ha sir liberation of the language liberation of language he is right but see dhakay khan sena पांच जन डाक्त छात्र के गुली कर मेरे हाँ तर नाम क्यों जान क्यों जाने ना जानतम ना हाँ तर नाम क्यों जाने ना क्योंकि डु वि अल्सो नो दैट इन बराग भी आसाम मेनी मोर पीपल बेंगल इज लेट डाउन देर लाइफ फर देर लैंगुएज इन इंडिया nobody knew what we don't know is that it was for the bengali language that 21st of february was recognized by the united nations as the international mother tongue day ha huh, which is celebrated around the world now 21 february we wanted to give something to the fountain pen lovers in bangladesh so we made this bottle of ink where edike 5 jon bangladeshi shohider naam lekha ache edike 14 jon jara borak valley te mara gechilo tader naam lekha ache logo ta hocchilo na logo ta banate parchilam na i got so emotional hat kete rakto diye likhechilam 21 july why who knows this song amar bhai rakte rangano 21 february ami ki bhulite pari there are a lot of things that are not just words made in india is not a word make in india may be something made in india when we say it we mean it his grandfather meant it he means it i mean it when we say we mean it we mean it with our blood right so this and this is one of the most popular inks in bangladesh now as a matter of fact it this is the ink that we made to celebrate 50 years of bangladesh's freedom and ekhane uh, lekha ache this this was 
uh, opened by Sheikh Hasina Odero Khan. That's a different thing. Now, what we want to do is we want to take you back to your roots. We want to take you back to your roots because we are looking for our roots and we have common roots. We have, it's, it's not only about Bengalis, it's about India. It's about the Indian subcontinent. When I say about the Indian subcontinent, I mean about India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, this entire region. Okay, why? Jamini Rai. Jamini Rai, we have incidentally, do you know who Jamini Rai was? Painter. Huh? Painter, but uh, see, Bharat Varshe, there are nine painters who are the state painters of India. Jamini Rai, Robindranath, Abhiyono Indranath, nine, nine Chobi, you cannot export. Jamini Rai is one of them. There is another very interesting aspect about Jamini Rai. Egunoto Kalighat Port. Aragdinese, we will talk about art. Kalighat Port, to Degbe, Jamini Rai, Sob Chobikin to Kali Satkana Rongyaka. He has used only seven colors. These are all earth colors. Mati theke toiri kora wrong. Ekhane kono chemical nai. Satar mudde ekta hoteche white. So he has in effect used only six colors. Ei chota wrong er amra kali toiri kore phelechi. They are all earth. Thek thebe the kono chemical nai. Kono bhajal nai. Acha ei jamini rai ponchas khana chobi we have tied up with his family. We will be paying him royalty. We will be using these 50 pictures for promoting Sulekha brand because this is a kind of a brand association that we want to build up with like-minded individuals, like-minded institutions, like-minded legacy people, artists. So we are going back to the roots with Sulekha. So this is another story. We will talk about it some other time. Can we go to the next one? We will also get into a whole lot of accessories, pens, this, that. Can we go to the next one? Join us. We are here to win. Bengal is again thinking ink, scripting the Sulekha story. Because what Bengal used to think today, people will think tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. We are only thinking ink. We are only thinking ink. We are not thinking about anything else. I'll leave it on to you to think about accounts. <laughs> Go to the next one, please. So these are the various blogs that I write. These are, uh, I also have a YouTube channel about fountain pens. I have a blog about fountain, I have two blogs about fountain pens. One of them is the best in the world. It's the most followed in the world. And uh, Sulekha Inc. is also there. We are getting into the global, uh, e-commerce platforms for it the yao please and so these are our are our facebook groups uh, fountain pens any any anything any questions that you have ma'am are, are we in time yes. any questions that you have please ask me so that i can So it depends upon your hold. You know, there are different ways of holding a fountain pen. Uh, what is, I'll, I'll show you something. Uh, you know, this may be of interest. This is called the barrel. This is the grip section. This is the nib. This is a hooded nib. There are different kinds of nibs. I'll, huh? Yeah, there are different kinds of nibs. See, this is a normal nib. Now, inside the barrel, previously, we used to drop the ink here. So these are called eye dropper fillers because you are normally using an eye dropper to fill this ink. These are uh, converters and cartridges. You can either use a cartridge or a converter. Now, when you had an eye dropper filler again, and we are talking about technology that was at least 120, 130 years old, 130 years back, Tokun it used to leak. Because you are putting it. Now, there is no way these pens leak. 
this is you know you just take a bottle of ink and uh, this is like a syringe ये तो सिरिंज में जैसा इंजेक्शन देता है ना उसमें डाल के टाने से वो आ जाएगा कार्ट्रिज रिप्लेसमेंट है कार्ट्रिज का रिप्लेस होता है बट दिस इज यू नो हाँ पिस्टन इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग दिस इज नॉट अ पिस्टन हाँ इसको डाल के हाँ इट इज द सेम पेन इट्स द सेम थिंग